I'm Julie Wilson. Tonight on 420 Seconds, we look back on a tragic event involving a ding-dong ditcher. Our guest tonight has asked for us to blur his face and distort his voice. He claims that being here is a severe risk to his career and his own family. For tonight, we will call him Jack with a Q. So Jack with a Q, tonight I want to discuss a specific event that happened in your career as a ditcher. I'm aware that you don't like to talk about this much. No, I really don't. So first I want to ask, how did you start your career as a ditcher? When I was a kid, I was bullied a lot. I experienced torment like no other. Every night, my bullies would all team up and come to my house and ding dong ditch me. It was a really low point in my life. So what did you do about that? I decided to become the greatest ding dong ditcher the world has ever seen. Isn't ding dong ditching illegal though? Yes, in some states, but I got good, really good. I was never caught. Until? Uh, I was caught. So can you tell me a little bit about that? The mission was a red brick house on Louisiana Avenue. It had four first level windows, five second floor windows, and a window in the door. The front door was recessed, making it easier for me to hide as I approached. There were several potential hiding spots, both sides of the house, and on the left and right side of the door. So it seems like this was the perfect house. Yes, yes it was. I monitored the house for several days, trying to figure out the family's schedule. I learned about where each of them would sit during certain hours of the afternoon. I learned when they ate dinner, when they were in the kitchen, and when they went to bed. Wow, so you really put a lot of work into this. Yes. So when did you decide to make your move? It was around 5.30 p.m. on a Friday. I approached the house very precariously. I expected someone to be sitting at the dining room table on their laptop. By now, Jack knows where everyone is in the house, and he is sure that no one will be ready for the rain. Unfortunately, a man came to the door to check his mail as Jack was approaching. Shocked from being caught, Jack fled to his own home and spent the rest of the weekend recuperating. Yes. Yes, I was. So we are actually sitting in the house that you were caught at. So yeah, after I was caught, I really couldn't handle not knowing how I screwed up. So I bought the house. Wow, so it really meant that much to you? Yeah, it really did. Jack, with a Q, now gives back to the community he Never. once plagued with fear. He joined Girl Scouts Jack, of America to make up for all the times that he ditched. Today, he took us around the neighborhood to do his door-to-door -door sales to show that he is truly recovered. Yeah.